Y'all, I'm walking down memory lane with this old recipe. And uh, my best friend, uh, growing up, we were like thick as thieves. Her name was Diane Tedder, and she had an older sister named Darlene. And Darlene was so prim and proper, and Diane and I were like, <laughs> we just so loosey-goosey. Uh, we just had many, many laughs. And Darlene would try to keep us in line. She was two years older. Sometimes she could do it. Sometimes she couldn't. So since Diane is not here with me today, I'm going to call her. If I can figure out how to do this. <laughs> I can do it. So hope she's home. Hello? Hello? Hey. Hey, Ty. Tatter, tatter, tatter. <laughs> what are you hey, doing? Uh, listen, uh, listen. I've got you on speakerphone, and oh I'm shooting for my YouTube channel. And okay. I, I said, I, you know, I can't do this recipe without my buddy being here. <laughs> so this is, this is the best we're going to do. Do you know what I'm making? I bet you I do. What would you say? I would say it's those good old um, <laughs> hamburgers. Hamburgers. Yes, yes, yes. You know, Diane, uh, I thought the only way to eat a sloppy joe was with red sauce. And, yeah. and one day we were all so hungry. Uh -huh. And we went over to your house. Now, this is the best I can recall it, you, but your memory is so much better than mine. So well, you correct me. <laughs> oh, yes, it is. I have to call you and say, tell me what a good time we had sometimes. <laughs> I went, this was a long time ago. Because <laughs> how many years ago would it have been? I was 11 and you were probably 12, old lady. <laughs> well, only one month. So She's one month older than me, but a month is a month is a month better. I got you. <laughs> so I have just put the ground beef in the pan, but I remember we were so hungry and we went to y'all's house or maybe we were already there. I don't know. And uh -huh. uh, y'all said, come on and we'll fix us some sloppy joes. And of course, uh -huh. you know, I was all in. Yeah. And, and then y'all pulled out the hamburger and browned it and yeah. took out a can of French onion soup. And that was the Sloppy Joe's. So I'm browning this ground beef, and I just wish you were here with me. I can tell y'all right now, the old friends are the best friends. There's no guessing. I mean, we've been best friends since we were 10 or 11 years. I think I was 11. Yeah, so and that's, yeah, and that's 60 something years ago. I know. 60 something oh years ago. <sighs> Wait, wait, wait. I think it was 65 well, okay. years ago, right? Yeah, 65. That's right. 65 years ago. Oh, I can't believe it. it. Is, you know? I can't believe it. Well, but, you know, Paul, you you were a part of our family. You were our sister. You were our, yes. you know, my darling. And then we just adopted you. Yes. Yes. You know? Because I didn't have a sister. I had that little old snotty-nosed brother that, <laughs> that I loved so much that wanted to follow me everywhere. God I love his soul. My Bubba, my Bubba. So, yeah. uh, I, like I said, I wish you were standing here beside me. Well, let's talk, like, real soon. And okay. uh, I got people watching and waiting for me to cook this wonderful Sloppy Joe hamburger. Oh, okay. I love you, Tatter. I love you more. Okay, talk to you okay. soon. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye-bye. You know, there's nothing like your old friends. It's wonderful to make new friends, but those old friends are so very special. Uh, you know all of their history. There's no second guessing. You know, are they harboring secrets or anything like that? Uh and that, that's just wonderful, knowing that you have someone that you can trust with your life and share things with them. So I hope you all have some people like that in your life because there's nothing like them. 
All right, so we're going to brown this, and then I'm going to drain the fat off. There we go. You know, if there's a tablespoon left in there, that's just quite all right. All right, now we're going to sprinkle our flour over it because that's going to help thicken our burgers because our French onion soup is a liquid. So we're just going to let that brown up a little. And these sandwiches, I'll go ahead and tell you right now, they're elbow lickers. You know what an elbow licker is? It's when it's so juicy you have to start licking the juice off your elbows. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to add my can of French onion soup. I'm going to turn our heat down. And I'm going to let that simmer until it starts to thicken. Easy meal. Now, Eddie said that he wanted a bun. So these are really, really soft, and so are the buns, but I'm going to heat that up just. I'm going to heat Eddie's up just a minute so it'll be a little softer. All right, now, Diane and Darlene and I always ate it with a little mayonnaise, or maybe a lot. <laughs> All right, I'm going to turn our Sloppy Joe stuff off. Who's hungry? Me. <laughs> Me too. I'm starving. Let's eat. You go first. God is good. God is great. Thank you for feeding me, Lord. Mm. Now remember, we're talking about an elbow liquor. Mm. Oh, Diane. <laughs> 65 years later, y'all, it's still ever so good. And so are the memories that go with it. So I send y'all love and best dishes. Try Sloppy Joe brown instead of red. So good. Hey, y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.